Okay, as you probably read the title, this is only going to be my <laughs> uh, point tank tier list words. Uh, I will be ranking. I don't know this yet, so I'm gonna leave that there. Okay, so first foremost, it will be S plus S A B C F. Don't ask why I skipped D and E, because this guy is gonna stay there. <laughs> we all know he sucks. He's bad. He needs buff, or just delete him from the game. And remember, this is point tank. Ash, she's more. She's made more to be a point, uh, no, eh, a point tank than an off tank. Wow, the music's loud. Hold on, I can't even hear myself. Probably should have did that a little earlier. Okay. Yeah, she has. She's built to be a off tank, not the point tank. P some people take use her as an a point tank, but that's mostly because of um, <clears throat> matchmaking. <clears throat> uh, Atlas, a really good. Point tank has a lot of self sustain, but again, like Ash, he is built to be a point tank. So I'm gonna put like behind Ash or in front of Ash. Barrick, the small man <laughs> uh, that can pretty much get out of any situation. Except cripple, he can't. That's his only weakness. And headshot, but uh, most of most of them do. Fernando, actually not better than Barrick because of how often people break his turrets, and eh, I guess they're kind of equal. Inara, I'd say. Not better than them. Actually, I'm gonna put this here because Fernando's bannable. Barrick kind of isn't. Khan would not point tank at all. <laughs> Why would you point tank with an? I guess these two off tanks are better point tankers than Khan, but I can't put him next to that thing. Oh wait, I forgot about S. There isn't an S. <laughs> <laughs> I think Yeah, okay Makoa He was good when half shell was good or when he when you, you only needed to wait two seconds rather than the current four to five seconds But he's a lot better than Inara because of her ult Rom Should get rid of this actually. <laughs> Delete row there. That that should be a lot simpler. <laughs> uh Rom No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> actually you can but not good. Ruckus actually better than Khan as an off tank. I'm mean, a point tank. Terminus Kind of falls behind if there's a Makoa, but anything else, or like if there's a Khan or for uh, uh, yeah, a Khan Makoa, Terminus kind of falls off, and with his recent nerves, he's not that good anymore. Yagarath really depends on the damage. It could be any one of these. It also depends on the Yag player. Well, I guess that's it. <laughs> this is uh, my point tank tier list. <laughs> I guess, let me know what you think. No, None of them are S tier. We don't have any S tiers anymore. Last patch, probably Fernando would have been there. But this is so far it. I hope you enjoyed. Now... Point tank is done. 
Now let's go for off tanks. And I found this thing, and it looked much better than what I did earlier. I don't know what's with this. I don't know how to get rid of this. But uh, here we go. Here we go. What? <laughs> okay. Off tanks. Ash. Definitely one of the best off tanks. She makes so much space. She has CC. She has AoE. She has more CC. And she also has high damage if you continuously hit that same target. Atlas. Probably better or equal to Ash. Because of, again, CC. The only thing he lacks is really movement. Ash does not lack movement at all. If she's elevated, she has all the movement she could ever want. Because of gravity. Barrick. <laughs> Wait, why is there... Hold on. That should not be there anymore. Barrick. Uh, put it be for Barrick. <laughs> he's not C, but he's not F, and he's not A. There are better uh, off-tank options. Fernando. Flank Nando. It's not bad, actually. It's better than Barrick. But cannot compare to Atlas. In Nara, actually, in some maps like Jaguar Falls or even Bright Marsh, to a degree, <laughs> to to an extent, or even Timber Mill, flying in Nara, <laughs> but mostly Treacherous Ground. You could do a lot in those two maps I said earlier. But other than that, uh, it's mostly if the NR is good. Probably here, <laughs> then. Khan, definitely one of the... There's the top three best off tanks. <laughs> I think. There. <laughs> Actually, I don't think she needs a nerf. She's fine as she is. There you go. That's probably better. Okay, Makoa. Definitely also one of the best. His ult just counters so much CC. He has high movement. Kind of the best thing. And good damage. Kind of the best thing you want from an off tank. Rom. He's kind of debatable. He could be up here. He could be down here. He could be here. He could be here. He could be anywhere. It just depends on what you're playing. Does the team have no CC and no high DPS? He's right here. Does the team have so much CC you can't do anything? <laughs> here. <laughs> so I guess I'll just put him like here. Since all of these can counter Rom. This if you got treacherous ground, but these Rom will destroy you. His ult gets countered by Rom. His ult His shield gets countered by Rom. Ruckus. Extremely good. If you can get a good Ruckus player and a good flank to play together, they could carry the game. You don't even need a DPS. Both of them could do everything. Terminus, as an off-tank, I'd say Rom could do better. Torvald. Actually, off-tank. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yagarath. Same with Ruckus. If you can find a good Yagarath player, she, she would carry you games. That is how good those two champions are. When played correctly. I've only seen like a few. <laughs> of both. But Makoa Ash. Easier to play. Easier to win games with. If you're good with them. Atlas as well. Khan is a little easier to kill though. Than the rest of these. Three. This one's easier to kill. But also to get kills with. Well I guess that's it as well.